Yeah, we're talking about veterinarians here, and yeah. Danielle is live at Midwestern University College of Veterinary Medicine. Uh, they've got an interesting plan going on, trying to get more vets online, right, Danielle, uh, right here in the workforce. Hey, Danielle. Hey guys, good morning. Yeah, Troy and Celeste. So, you know, we typically think uh, doctors working on humans. We don't really think about the stresses of uh, veterinarians and the doctors here in this profession. So we're uh, speaking with uh, Dr. Gartrell here today with uh, the university, just kind of about what is the layout right now? I mean, two years ago, two and a half years ago, the pandemic, what did it do to your industry? Right, so we saw with the pandemic that pet population increased in terms of pet ownership. And so with that, right, the demand on veterinarians grew as well. And so in preparing for that, you know, here at Midwestern University, we make sure that our students are prepared in terms of being efficient and being very competent in their skills so we can help address that need. And so it's nationwide, of course, but we want to make sure that we're doing our part with producing competent professionals that can go out and, and handle those increased stresses. And let's talk about some of the stresses with your profession. A lot of people don't realize it. Uh, you know, we think of medical doctors in terms of in a hospital working on patients. Uh, what are some of the stresses that you guys are under? Yes, yeah, so some are similar, certainly, you know, so we deal with sick patients and really across all species. You know, oftentimes we think of just companion animals, but we look at the large animal aspect of it too. And so, you know, it's multifactorial. So it's the shortage of veterinarians and so dealing just with an increased caseload, you know, trying to make up for that. Um, there's certainly compassion fatigue that is associated with the profession. And so here at Midwestern, we make sure that we teach our students resiliency and dealing with mental health issues and self-care, right, so they can deal with that as well. And then there's um, student loan debt, um, income to debt ratio. That is a factor, and so again, we make sure that our students are equipped to deal with those sorts of things too. So it's a multifactorial thing, um, but we address it as a profession nationwide. And so all veterinary schools work together. We have common issues. We meet often to talk about these issues and really how can we care for the profession, care for our future professionals, which are our students, and then even look at developing a pipeline. And with, you were talking about um, you know schools, there's not, a million options out there. It's a pretty limited. So we're actually really lucky here in the Valley to have Midwestern University because you guys are one of them. Absolutely. There's only 33 veterinary schools in the U.S. So when you think about that and the need, and so if we think of, you know, 70 percent of U.S. household has pets, right, that there is going to be, there's a current shortage, but even projected out, there's a future shortage that we're dealing with. And so we are fortunate to be the first veterinary school in Arizona. Um, we have a robust teaching hospital um, where our students see, you know, clients from the community and we serve the community. And so we really are fortunate to have a really good, strong school right here in the Valley. And before we wrap up here, uh, Doctor, we do want to talk about this new workshop coming up. This is for high school students. Uh, talk about that. So um, every year we have a summer camp for high school students. And so it's a health career summer camp. So where they come and they stay and they're exposed to all the healthcare professions that we have on campus. So veterinary medicine is one of those. And that tends to be one of the favorites. So they have hands-on experience where they can see um, all the things that we do. We prepare them for things that they need to finish in high school and then undergrad and then just the rigors associated with the healthcare professions. But it's a fun week for them where they can see, we have a simulated cow and they can see a calf being born or they can see, you know, cool x-rays of, of animals and all sorts of animals. And that's a really cool thing about our profession, right? So we aren't dealing with one species, we're dealing with everything from, you know, someone's pet rat to an elephant at the zoo. And so there's just so much that we can do as vets. And that is a lot. And here is the flyer right here. I can have Brian uh, take a look for everybody out there. So if you're interested, uh, there's plenty of information on their website there. So high school students, May 1st, 2022, that's when the applications are due. So yeah, if you have any high schoolers out there interested, definitely take a look. And we'll send it back to you guys. Look great. You know? We love animals. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What a career, right? Wow. Yeah, make some good money, uh, deal with uh, pets, and make sure everybody's okay. Yeah. Like that little dog That's so with the sweet, curly hair. Danielle. Looks they, thrilled. They teach you oh, how no, to... they try to put them on her back? Oh, hold on. You bet. <laughs> it's okay, guy. Great Come job, on. Danielle. So Come sweet. On. All right. Uh, thank you. Oh, here we go. Here. Oh, there we go. No, we're going to do it up top. All right. Uh, thanks, guys. Good job. Not your typical.